Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Xiong. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Starting 20 years ago, between 2003 and 2015, private kindergartens and preschools were booming in China. During those 12 years, facilities nearly tripled from 55,000 locations to 143,000, while only 15,000 public kindergartens opened over the same period. As families become wealthier and the parents demanded more of preschool services, government had offered little support for early age public education. This gave room to private schools as these kindergartens had flourished, private education centers serving other grade levels had struggled to find their footing. In 2016, the central government took a strict line on private education for elementary through high school, banning for-profit education at those levels while leaving pre-elementary intact. These private institutions often offer a more personalized and innovative approach to education than public kindergartens, with a focus on activities and programs that are designed to stimulate children's cognitive, emotional, and social development, in addition to providing high-quality education. Private kindergartens also offer a range of additional services such as after-school care and extracurricular activities. Many of these schools are also equipped with modern facilities such as science labs, libraries, and computer rooms, which can help children explore and develop their interests. But the golden age of private kindergartens is over, not because of Beijing's crackdown, but the declining birth rate. Liu De Wei runs the business of private kindergarten in Rongxian in Guangxi province, a county of 656,000 people. Five years ago, when he had just started the business with several million yuan investment, he had 140 children enrolled, but by 2020, the number had slumped to about 30. At first, he thought it was because of fears about the coronavirus. However, even after Beijing lifted its hotline virus restrictions late last year, there has been no improvement. There are just no children, said Liu, who has not yet broken even. Faced with financial ruin, he is now considering shutting down the kindergarten. In China, privately owned kindergartens account for more than half of the preschool market and are often more expensive than public alternatives. Now they are struggling with declining enrollments due to the falling birth rate. Within six years, the number of newborn babies in China nearly halved from 18.8 million in 2016 to 9. million last year. The number of private kindergartens and their enrollments both dropped for the second consecutive year in 2021. Even private kindergartens in China's the most populous cities are feeling the impact. Lucy Wong, a mother of two living in Shanghai, said she had noticed the difference in enrollment numbers at her children's kindergarten. There were seven classes when my son was there between 2015 and 2018. And when it was his little sister's turn to go in 2021, there were only four classes, and the class size has also shrunk, she said. Last year, Sun Glory Education Research Institute, a Beijing-based education service provider, released a report stating that an estimated 30 to 50 percent of kindergartens operating at the start of this decade will be out of business by 2030 due to a declining number of pupils. Despite policy change to encourage births over the past couple of years, reversing the trend will be difficult, said Professor Yuan Xing, a demography expert from Nankai University's School of Economics. China scrapped its controversial one-child policy in 2016. In 2021, Beijing further relaxed the limits on the number of children a family can have to three in 2021. Local governments have rolled out a series of incentives for couples, including lengthening maternity and paternity leave and offering cash rewards for families that have a second or third child. However, the birth rate continues to fall. 
there are many factors contributing to this trend, including the high costs of raising children, unaffordable housing prices, improvement in women's education and the labor force participation, as well as their self-awakening, all points to declining birth rate. Private kindergartens are bearing the brunt of that amid a wider crackdown on private education that the President Xi Jinping hopes will help achieve common prosperity. The government has been trying to transform privately owned institutions into generally affordable ones, which charge according to government guidelines and receive state subsidies. Xiong Bing Qi is the director of the 21st Century Education Research Institute. He warned that large scale closures of kindergartens would be inevitable if the teacher student ratio did not change, and the same fate could ultimately meet schools and colleges. China's teacher student ratio is 1 to 15, lower than developed countries, which typically range between 1 to 10 and 1 to 5, Xiong said. The same is true with universities. We are seeing many universities with huge classes, 100 or 200 students in one class, which is one of the major problems behind the low quality teaching issues we've been complaining about, he said. Yan Su Yan, head of Huana Experimental Kindergartens in Baoding, Hebei Province, agreed that a falling birth rate also means an opportunity for better preschool services. The entire sector is being hit by decreasing enrollment, she said. A large number of kindergartens will disappear in three or five years, and those who want to survive must improve their competitiveness. But for Liu, the kindergarten owner from Guangxi province, his current priority is controlling costs. I don't dare add any more equipment now, he said. I guess I will just close it if things don't improve this year. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and a subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I will see you again shortly. Until then, be well.